Hi everyone, today I'm gonna show you how to create a round or radial progress bar. So let's start, create a new material, I'll call it M underscore round progress bar. Uh, it opened up. In here, change the material domain to use interface and change the band mode to translucent. We could also take change it to masked, but then it looks really sharp and crispy. And if you not have a really high resolution and the translucent, we get the possibility to just smooth it a bit. So let's just put it on translucent. For the final color, we can just press one here, take value of one. So it will be just plain white and we can change it easily later in the user interface with just tinting the widget. Um, now for the opacity, we're taking a circle for that. We're taking a radial gradient exponential. If you just plug it in here to the opacity, you will see it's a circle. Uh, for density, we can take, for example, if we take 60, you see the circle is relatively sharp. If we take really high value, it will get really sharp. But what I said, we can take like 60 and then you see it's, it's just a lot smoother. Then for the radius, we're taking 0.5. And now just duplicating this radial gradient exponential. And now we're creating another circle that we will subtract from it, a smaller circle. So we're subtracting a transparent circle. Um, to do that, here just add a subtract node and just put it in the opacity. We can take the density and also put it in the density here. Then from the 0 0.5, we are again subtracting. And here we can convert this to a parameter and can name this thickness. And put this in the radius. We'll just add here, for example, a default value of 0.1. If you're taking a default value of 0.2, you see it gets thicker. So our next step is creating a radial mask that takes parts away from the circle. And then we can control with the parameter how much we want to take away from the circle. And then this will be our percentage. Let's start at a new texture coordinate. Add a custom rotator. And here for the rotation angle, set a value to 0 0.25. Um, then here, subtract a value of 0.5. And we also want to multiply it by, uh, so press 2 and click by a 2 vector. And here on 1 and here on minus 1 to mirror everything. You can't see it because it's a full circle, but we mirrored it on this axis now with this minus 1. Um, next, we need the node vector to radial value. Here, we're taking the vector converted to angle and at this uh, converts us to a parameter and this will be our percentage. 
I would set it by default, for example, on 0.75. And now we just need to floor this and then multiply it by the subtraction we created here before the two circles. And that will be our new opacity. Now you can see circle that is filled up 75%. You can, for example, set it on 0.5 or 0.3 or on 1. I would set it just back to 7.75 by default. Apply and save it. And that's basically our material. Now go to the back and we need to create a material instance from it. Just create an instance. I will open it and set it by default just on 0%. Now I'll show you how you can change the percentage of this progress bar dynamically in the widget. So create here use interface widget blueprint select here user widget or just call it wb underscore test bar let's open this and add here a new size box then i will set width and height of the size box both to for example 200 and now change it here from full screen to desired to the size box i will add an image and that we get as material brush our round progress bar inst. It will be overwritten anyways, but before we're setting any percentage, we can just start here with the transparent version, it looks good. So now go to the graph in here, create a new function, and I will just call it set percent. And I will add a float parameter as input here, and also call it percent. And in here, I'll create a dynamic material instance and select as parent the round progress bar inst. As return value, we're going from here and promoting this to a variable. Do not take promote to local variable, otherwise it would be really inefficient. So make sure you're selecting promote to variable. Then I will just call it here like round progress bar inst and also make sure when we're doing we're creating this new material instant we also want to get here our image and set brush from material. I'll just connect it here. And now let's just grab our one progress bar inst variable again and check here if it's valid. Because before we triggered this function once in our game, this one progress bar inst has a value of null because we never set it anywhere. And then initially, so it's not valid, only one time in the game. When you create a new dynamic material instance, store it in this variable and setting the brush. After that, if we trigger this function again, if we go here, it will be valid because we set it here. And then we don't need to create a new dynamic material instance anymore and can just change the parameter in here. So let's just get here our progress bar instance again and set scalar parameter value connected here with this valid and connected also with this pin as parameter name we are now taking percent it needs to be exactly the same as the parameter name here otherwise it won't work now take our take the value here and connect it here with the float input. A 
OK. Now compile and save. Now we can go to the event graph and take the event pre-construct. Pre-construct means that we can see the changes in editor without actually need to play. So take here the event pre-construct so we can test it. We can grab here set percent function and for the percent we can just promote it to a variable and just leave it as percent and click here on the i or here on instance editable so we can change it in another widget also compile and save again now just try to maybe create a new widget or just leave it as this name for now we add here a new canvas panel can be any widget so let's just search here for a test bar edit here set the size box to size to content or set a set our widget here to size to content and now we can change here the percentage if it won't update here it might be that you need to compile and save everything again and restart the project um, Right, you can really nicely change the percentage or like from another actor or so cast here to the widget and then change it more smoothly in an animation or so. Um, we can also, what I also said is changing here the color, just really easy. And what else we can do is transforming here in a bit in the render transform, for example, we can change the angle so it fill ups, fills up at another point. I would set it back to zero. And yeah, that was the tutorial. I hope I was able to help you with this. If so, then I would be really happy if you could like and subscribe my channel. And thank you for watching.